Absolutely not. But the White House has made it clear it takes all terror threats seriously. Director Comey talking about this. Catherine Herridge was there just moments ago, left the briefing with the FBI director. What else did he say about the investigation and the other details here, Catherine? Well, Chip, the FBI director confirmed that in March of this year, the Bureau reopened its investigation into one of the Garland, Texas shooters, Elton Simpson, because social media activity that indicated that Simpson wanted to get back into the business of jihad, but this time he wanted to link up with the group ISIS in Syria and Iraq rather than al-Shabaab. His efforts to join al-Shabaab have been the subject of a previous FBI investigation that ultimately had been closed in 2014, less than a year before the plot in Garland, Texas, Shep. Did, did somebody drop the ball here, or what's the, what's the consensus, if there is one? Well, the FBI director confirmed to us that just hours before the attack by Simpson and Nadir Sufi, that they sent out a bulletin because they had new information indicating that Simpson may want to travel to the event in Texas. And what he said to us very uh, transparently, I would add, is that there was really no evidence that the police knew about this information at the point where that traffic cop took down those two guys outside the cartoon contest. And FBI Director Comey said they're going to try and understand better how this information was shared. But to be fair, with such a time-sensitive piece of information, it can be very difficult to get down to what is ultimately the grassroots level in this case. Mm -hmm. Hey, what, what did he say about other potential terror suspects mm -hmm. here? Because this line about how they were tracking mm -hmm. some people and then their, their track sort of went dark, what are, what's the details on that? I think this is one of the big headlines that people are going to be reading about later today and well into tomorrow. The FBI director said there are hundreds, if not thousands, of people here in the United States who are trying to connect up with ISIS uh, via Twitter. And the pattern that they're seeing now is that once these individuals connect with ISIS uh, with social media, they're then directed by ISIS to encrypted sites where they effectively go dark, leaving the FBI blind to the activities of these suspects. And FBI Director Comey said, using this analogy, it's a lot like having the devil on your uh, shoulder now encouraging people to act with violence because the propaganda is right on people's phones uh, in their pockets. But that's, I think, the major headline here is that he said there are other Elton Simpsons out there that the FBI does not know about and they cannot find simply because they are blind to these individuals because ISIS has been able to master social media and then redirect these people to encrypted forms of communication that not even the FBI can access, Shep. All right. Catherine mm -hmm. Harris updates as you get them, please, ma'am. Thank you. You're welcome.